I have my finished mystery yarn challenge project and I'm so excited about it. Let me introduce y'all to Scotland. This is Scotland, it's the fat boy. It's the big boy here who commandeered the pillow and is the inspiration for my project. Say hi Scotland. He just wants to get away. Everyone. Welcome to Creatively Crafty Me. I am Charlena and today is just going to be a quick video. I want to show y'all my completed project for the Mystery Yarn Challenge 824. Now, I received my yarn from Lisa from Happy to Hook Creation and I'm going to give you a quick recap of the yarns that I received and what I currently have left of those yarns. So I did receive a Ogo yarn. I did throw the packaging away. I just took the yarn off of the packaging and this is how much of that particular particular yarn that I have left. I have this here white Ogo yarn. Then I received two skeins of I love this yarn. I received one in the colorway light peach and the other one in the colorway fuzzy slippers. So I received two of those. And this is what I have left of the fuzzy slipper yarn. So I have this little ball left. And I only have this much of the light peach yarn left. Now, along with those three yarns, I did receive a random peach yarn. I'm not sure what brand it was. And it was just in the colorway peach. And it was pretty close to the colorway of the yarn of the I Love This Yarn yarn so before i actually show y'all the project that i made i did record a, a few clips of my thought process when starting to create this project so i'm just going to include those real quick to give y'all an idea of what what i was thinking and how i got to my current completed project okay everyone i figured i would Take y'all along with me while I design my project for the Mystery Yarn Challenge. I gave some thought to what I want to make. And I actually want to make kind of like a pillowcase, so to speak. Because there is this pillow that we had sitting on top of um, a storage bin. And my cat has kind of just taken over. And he took it as his own little nesting place, his little resting place. So I figured that since he has already commandeered that pillow, I would make like a, a pillow cover with his name on it. And I figured I would show you my process for doing that. Okay, so firstly, because I want to put his name, I took some graph paper and kind of wrote out the letters to spell his name. Now, I really should have had the C and the S over here on this side. And I figured I would just add another piece of paper to this side so I can actually include it because my C and my S and my C are down there. But yeah, I just took some graph paper and I uh, graphed out the letters that I would want to put into his, his little cover. His, so yeah, I graphed out the letters that I would like to crochet into this little pillow cover to kind of turn it into an actual cat bed for him. So his name is Scotland and yes my C S and my C is over here but when I crochet it of course I'm gonna put it on this side here. So that is where I started. I started with the graph paper, decided how large I wanted the letters, scaled them out and here we go. So now I'm going to just start crocheting up the project and I'm going to take y'all along with me while I do that. Okay, I didn't get a lot of footage, but I did want to show you the process that I decided to go through. I did put my name into Stitch Fiddle so that I can print out an actual graft that I was able to just cross off as I go along. I also wanted to show you that to make this 
to make it easier, I created small bobbins on each side, like just small spools of yarn on each side so that I would not have to have the whole skein of yarn, even though I did keep the white and the peach yarn as a full skein. I did put those in a bag so that I can untwist them as I crochet along because when you are doing a graph, those yarns will kind of get twisted up. Okay, so my what I had decided to make was basically a pillow cover for a pillow that the cat had kind of commandeered. And so in essence, I made a pillowcase. So are y'all ready for this? Because I'm so excited. It is a pillowcase with my cat's name on it. And his name is Scotland. And I decided to graph out his name and then draw it into Stitch Fiddle so that I was able to actually print out the section with his name on it to follow along to make sure that I got the name right. So this is the front of the little pillow cover. So in essence, what this is now is a cat bed, but there is an actual pillow inside okay so i used that i used that random peach yarn to actually draw out his name here so the peach yarn that i didn't know what brand of yarn it was i used for his name i used the fuzzy slipper yarn to put a little border around his name and then i used the white yarn as a background for his name so okay so the ways that i chose to use the yarn was i used the white yarn as the background for his name and i used that peach yarn that i wasn't sure what brand it was to actually spell out his name and then i made a border around the the name and the fuzzy slipper and i used the i love this yarn peach yarn as the front of the pillowcase as the front of the case for the pillow. Now I used all of the peach yarn in this section here. There was no peach yarn left when I finished this section of the pillow. So the back of it doesn't have any of that I love this yarn. It just has the white ogo yarn, the peach yarn that I wasn't sure what brand it was, and the white ogo yarn, the peach yarn, and the fuzzy slipper. And I wanted to kind of make it a little decorative, so I decided to make some stripes this way and then stripes that way. And I also wanted to have an opening where I could slip the pillow into the pillowcase and be able to take it out as well. So I decided to make this little flap up here so that I could slide the pillow in, be able to wash the pillow cover, get some of the cat hair out because he does shed a lot. So I do expect this to have cat hair embedded in it. I would want to be able to like vacuum it out, brush, you know, scrub. I wanted to be able to like either vacuum the, the cat hair out or be able to get the cat hair out. Short, long story short, be able to get the cat hair out as well as wash this cover. And I had given my daughter some little cat buttons for a sweater that I had made my granddaughter. So I asked her to send me one of those buttons. So she's going to mail me a peach cat button so I can put a button on this and be able to keep this closed. So yeah, that is my completed project for the Mystery Yarn Challenge 824. I made this pillow cover to turn this pillow that my cat commandeered into a cat bed. So I'm very excited about this. I'm really, really, really excited about how this turned out. I really love how it turned out. So that's it. This is my completed project for the Mystery Yarn Challenge A24. I really had a good time making this. This here also came about because of another project that I have in mind to do. 
and I figured a nice small graft, a nice small color work project will help me get an idea of how I want to work on this other project that I have coming up. So if you want to see what that is, then just stick around because I will be showing y'all my plans and ideas for that project really soon. Okay, guys, so that's it for now. Thank you so much for joining me. Do come back, stick around to see what else I have going on. And I will talk to you in the next video. Okay, bye.